Okay guys, so today we're going to do Stoneheart Sonata 1 and these are basically the nodes I chose. I definitely didn't choose to use 100% stamina on sprint simply because I know I would actually have to run around the room um, at some point. But after that I will show you my characters and then we'll get into it. Like I said guys, we're only aiming for 3000 points, okay? Alright, so Kiching is going to be my main DPS. We got Barbara. I thought about going with Zinyan simply because I wanted the shield, but then I thought about something where only Beto can do, and that's why I brought Beto instead. Also, I brought the Traveler to demonstrate something, but I don't think I got a chance to, but I'll explain it when I get there, okay? So the first thing I did was I went on the blind spot of all of the other pillars simply because like while you're attacking this pillar, all of the other pillars are actually going to shoot you with geo attacks or something. So basically when you break the pillar, like everything geo actually works here. So if you have Zhongli, Noel, Ningguang or the Traveler, you can basically use their geo constructs or your shields to basically like block the attacks from the other pillars. I didn't use my Traveler simply because I had a shield on which basically like negates all of the damage from the pillars. Pay attention to where the Geo Cube goes next because it is going to spawn a Geo Shield next to it and if you break this you can basically break a pillar for free. So this is actually where Beto shines. Because I have her counter, anything the cube does on top of the pillar, I can basically like counter it. Or even after I break off the pillars, when it's doing like some of its BS attacks, I can basically counter some while using the Geo shields that are on the ground. At this point, this is where the Traveler shines, or Jongli if you have him. So basically when it's doing this attack, if you want to save time, you can run around the room and destroy all of the crystals. But if you think it's too difficult and you don't want to, you can basically st stand on their Geo Constructs and you will basically avoid the entire attack. If you're doing this solo, you probably won't be able to destroy all three of these pillars at once and this is why you need to be as effective as you can and save as much time as you can to actually beat this quest in, in time.
And that's it, everyone. Thank you all for stopping by and have a great day, okay?